Aesop's Fables. Fables are short stories that have a moral or message for us, something to learn and keep in mind as we grow up. Most of the fables have animal character who think and act just like human beings. It is believed that many of the fables were first told by a wise person called Aesop. Aesop lived hundreds of years ago in a country called Greece. His story became so popular that people passed them from one generation to generation. Many proverbs and saying that we use today are based on these fables. Here are two well-known fables, but today we'll only be doing part one. The name of the fable is the story stag and the pool. One day, a beautiful stag came to the pool of clear water. As he bent down to drink, he saw that his own reflection in the water. He was delighted with what he saw. Instead of drinking water, he kept looking at his own reflection. How handsome I look, he said to himself. How beautiful are these curving antlers. How they add to my beauty. How graceful they look. Then he moved near and saw his legs reflected in the pool. He was quite disgusted. Look at my legs. Ah, they are so ugly. All spindly with small feet. How I wish that nature had given my me legs worthy of my steely antlers as they as he was brooding in his way, the stag heard an arrow going swish across the pool. At the same time, he picked up the scent of the hunters. With a quick turn, he bounced away. His legs carried him swiftly into the forest. The hunters were hot on his trail, but they were no match for his speed. Soon, the stag left the hunters far behind. Seed and out of the hunters reached the stag slowly. And down suddenly without realizing it he walked into a thicket there were trees with strong branches growing close together and alas the same antlers of which he had so proud got caught in the thick grown thick growth the stag tried to shake himself free but the more he struggled the more ang- entangled his antlers got in the branches once again the stag could not hear the hunters drawing close and grew afraid at last with great difficulty he managed to see his antlers and bounced away i realized now that my ugly feet saved my life I was so proud of these handsome antlers, but they would have co- been the cause of my death. Very often, we dislike the very things that are most useful to us. Thank you.